Okay, we're going to try to do a four track demo here. We're going to invoke Pro Tools from the dock using Pro Tools LE version 7.1 today. We'll need a new session. New session from the file menu called Four Track Demo. We're going to put it on the desktop. It's important that we know where things are, so we're going to put it on the desktop where we can find it real easy. It's AIFF files, 48 kilohertz, 16 bit. We'll use the stereo mix I.O. setting since we're just playing out of two tracks today. Save. There's our folder right there. This is our edit window with no tracks. We're going to need some tracks, so we go to the track menu and choose new. Type in four. So we've got create four new mono audio tracks in sample mode. Create. There they are. Okay, it's important that we name these tracks so that our audio files that are created in the track will carry this name and we'll be able to find them easily. So we're going to call it guitar one and since I'm going to be writing guitar a lot I'm going to go ahead and command C put the word guitar on the clipboard in the Macintosh clipboard hit next paste command V two next paste three next command V four okay now I've named the four tracks guitar one, two, three, and four. Okay, we're going to need, uh, I'm going to put an auxiliary track for some echo because I don't like playing guitar dry. So I'm going to choose new track, one stereo auxiliary input, create. Okay, I'm going to name this aux one thing verb. V ERB is my short version. Verb 1. OK. Let's go ahead and invoke the verb plugin that we're going to be using, which is dverb today. dverb. Uh, it's got several settings here hall, church, plate. I like plate, so I'm going to go with plate. I like a decay time of around two seconds, so I'm going to move that up to about two seconds, and everything else seems to be okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make that go away. Uh, okay, we need to set up our inputs to all our modules. The guitar modules will all have mic line one as their input, because that's where the guitar is plugged in, and there's only one player, me. The D-verb channel will need a bus, and bus 1 and 2 is available, so we'll choose that. So bus 1 and 2 will be the inputs to the verb. Okay, we want a little bit of verb from all guitar tracks, so we're going to go ahead and set up a nominal level sending from bus 1 and 2. We'll just kind of put it a halfway here. Each guitar track will be set to the same. Even though I haven't heard it, experience tells me that this will probably work. If it doesn't, I'll just open up the send module and fix it. Okay, all the guitars will have a little bit of verb just for me to hear while I'm playing. Make it comfortable. Okay, make that go away. Okay, since we're all our outputs are set for analog one and two, I'm going to go ahead and make one more track new one stereo master fader track okay the master fader will allow me to control the level of all the playback of all the tracks uh, okay one last detail the verb return is defaulted to off so I need to turn it up to about maybe two-thirds the way. Once again, experience tells me that this will probably sound pretty good for what I'm doing here. Okay, that looks like it's set up now and we're almost ready to start playing music. 